When does information consumption become an information source in its own right? Often, information is consumed by those gaining insights from it and using it to create new information. How can this integration best happen and at what level? In this session, we'll consider these feedback loops and establish best practice patterns for each. So here we have the reference architecture with the various groups of information consumer. If we consider the enterprise performance management group first, they are both consuming information as well as creating it. For example, they are creating new plans and forecasting information. In fact, it's a moot point whether the EPM box should be on the right-hand side of the diagram at all. Perhaps it's just another information source. One thing is for certain, this new information produced by EPM is worthy of being consumed by a wider audience. We would want to believe, for example, that BI users are measuring success based on a definition of success against the financial plan. Therefore, we need a feedback loop from EPM back to the information sources. Similarly, advanced analytical users may be creating interesting lists of customers that they want to campaign to, maybe within the sand pits. They may be creating interesting customer profiles. We may want to pass this information on to an operational campaign engine. So here is the feedback loop back to the campaign engine as an operational source. Even if we don't have the campaign engine, the fact that we've treated the customer as a certain customer profile at a certain time may be of interest. We may therefore decide to post this through the staging layer back into the data warehouse as a new fact. Finally, we might want to think about information being consumed by operational systems or processes. This could be as simple as an application picking up some values or more complex, for example, a business process consuming BI in order to make a decision. The best way to do this integration is not via data copies, but to make the BI available as a service, either as the consumption of a measure or a dimension or as the consumption of a report. This then gives us our last feedback loop from the services layer back to the information sources, either to be consumed by an operational system or to be consumed by a composite business process running over multiple applications, including business intelligence. We've worked with various organizations on this sort of solution using this architecture. For example, many organizations use this as a mechanism of integrating next best activity into their call center. When an inbound call is made, the next best activity is determined by the nature of the call in addition to the customer profile and the buying behavior determined from the BI provision. The key aspect here is that the call center agent has no idea they are consuming BI. They aren't even using a BI tool. It's simply that the call center application is consuming BI as a service. This can get more sophisticated still. For example, retailers automate their markdown process by calling a BI report to identify poorly performing products before a sophisticated workflow process is kicked off to optimize the markdown of these products. Business agility is gained here because the owners of the reports are business users, not IT. Of course, if we could draw architecture diagrams in 3D, all of this would be somewhat simpler. But what we have seen is that many information consumers can be information sources in their own right. Once information is trusted, it can be consumed in automated services and processes, leading to much faster and more agile business decision making that affects all parts of the business.